Hi, welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, then please uh, do so via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. And if you've already subscribed, welcome back. The focus of this video is, as you can see, the Raspberry Pi 3 on top uh, of the Pi Extend PLC and uh, connected wired um, with this uh, breadboard with some electronics and a little bit of fish technique as well. Um, last time I managed to get the uh, relays uh, working via C and the um, topic this time is the continuation of that and see how I can uh, address anything else as well because there is a lot more to uh, get addressed. Um, an improvement with uh, serial bus R232 and RS485 CAN bus which I haven't touched at all yet and some pulse modulation and other stuff but um, first of all um, continuation with relay so let's see how that works out so um, software testing means uh, screencast in my uh, with my videos so I have two cameras one camera uh, pointed uh, at the uh, relays and at uh, this to output one camera this direction then a VNC with the source code in C uh, input and relays um, running the software and compiling it and SSH connection to start the VNC anyway let's run the software that means clicking the window the correct one and running it and of course then it helps if you um, press the button and that's it so um, Digital input pressing, uh, which could have been 255, but is 254. Um, reason unknown. Um, three LEDs uh, indicating the, and audible, by the way, that the relays are um, that are three relays, which is binary seven, and that's about it. So. When I want to have organized in sequence, I have to do that as sophomatic. So, um, let me do that. So, now the point is, how do I make um, these relays um, go on in a sequence? Well, uh, relay 1 is 1, uh, then relay 2 which is this one is the second one uh, which is easy uh, the third one this one is actually um, number four in sequence uh, binary sequence binary d digit and then the last one is number eight in binary so let's compile And run and this time with so that's the digital output again again and there we go yep that's correct that one works as well as that one Oh, that's curious. Oh, it has to go five times then. Yeah, 
a lump of five times, which I didn't realize, of course, but... And here on top you can see it go as well. And on camera you can see here this LED go as well, because of the uh, me pressing that button. And that's it. So that indeed works nicely. What next? And as an aside, I also find the reason why um, the digital input counted 254 instead of 255. This wire um, belongs uh, right here in the breadboard and then it gives this 255 value. This is zero and then we have 255. And then zero and uh, 30 suddenly. So that doesn't make a lot of sense, but at least the wiring is completely accurate now. And I have changed the loop from five to three, so now it only goes three times. Anyway, that's for the, uh, for the algorithm at this moment. Repeat the question, what next? Next step is trying analog output. And I've already put in the code which I found in um, a document about the C library which I'm using. Two analog channels and one is originally uh, this one is originally about 10 volts, but I'm using 5 volts and I am measuring this channel and this channel um, probes wired up uh, to it. I think that this is the correct port. So, to see if anything actually does work, let me compile and let me test. And then after the relays, it should measure something quite clearly. And it's now twice, three times. Yeah, let me change this in order to speed things up a bit. Go. And I have to press here, yep, 255, which is nice. And last one is out of view, but it does work anyway. That's the second run. Very good. And lo and behold, I have five volts. Because I set everything, uh, I set these two to five volts. And it did give five volts, and it keeps giving five volts. So I have to change this um, a little bit. Let me do that, um, as in uh, delay um, one second, and then um, setting this to zero volts, and then uh, this one to, um, yeah, that's a nice one, uh, also a delay of one second, and then, uh, 
um, copy this one here and setting this one to two and a half volts 265 just half of it and then see what oscilloscope does go for some nice values if it picks it up not really doesn't matter and now what does the oscilloscope do alright end of the relays and now oscilloscope yeah see and that's a big difference so one goes to off and one goes to half of half of it which is very nice so that is measured it does work and with this very nice result on the analog output I uh, thank you for watching if you like this video, please do subscribe uh, to my channel uh, via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. Um, do leave a comment or suggestion. Um, very much appreciated. You can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram. And um, this is of course going to be continued. If you uh, want to support, then you can do so via either IBAN, for which you can see my website, or via PayPal, for which you don't need uh, to have an account. Uh, you can also become a patron and have your name mentioned. Please um, check my website and my uh, patron site for more information. Um, like I said, going to be continued. Thank you. Um, take care. Stay safe. Bye.